It's been about a week since Lords of the Fallen came out, so I thought, let's give it a try. There have been a couple of updates, at least an update a day since launch. There was massive performance worries and things like that, uh, because people didn't know that when you were above medium settings, it turned ray tracing on, I believe. Uh, so we're going to run maximum graphics ultra and, and see how it performs. Uh, no DLSS, just raw power. And we'll see how it performs for me after a good week's worth of updates. Y'all who know me know I do like Miss Souls games, with FromSoft games especially. Tell you what, he is pretty detailed, isn't he? Oh damn, that changed quickly. Here we go. It's a lo very lovely cave I'm in, full of corpses. Oh, it's me. Well, it's very clean looking, very sharp. FPS is up. So I've got it unlimited FPS and we're pushing up to 66-ish FPS. I'll probably lock it at 60 just to keep it a bit more stable. Um, but yeah. GPU temps are raised a little bit, 82 degrees C. That's usually hot than it usually is. Um, but frame timing is dead still. That's not too bad, but we are on ultra and uh, FPS is going to fluctuate quite a bit. I'll try and clamp it down to 60 at some point, though. Let's take a look at the controls anyway. So we got RB for a quick attack. Uh, LB looks like a block. Right trigger for a big attack. Oh, yeah, it has got that tech. That new Unreal tech that they showed where you can see, like, the, the other... Another world, like, overlaid with your torch. I thought I remembered it from that early trailer. That's pretty sweet. I bet you can find all kinds of secrets and little tricks with that. Picked up some souls. There we go in the top right and ticking up. Nice, nice, nice. Hello? Hello? Uh, lock on target with right stick. Uh, switch between targets. Okay, the usual. Yep, there we go. That's how that works. B is dodge. Ow! Right, I can feel any other stars that happen anyway. First impressions on the FPS is okay. Probably switch it on again when we're a bit of the open world comes to us. But for now, it's I don't think we're going to see any any worse than we, we're seeing right now. Oh, look at that. You can see that it's, it's not broke in my light. And it looks very spooky. Very spooky in this realm, I tell thee. While falling, press RB or RT to perform a plunge attack. Additionally, you can use lock on for extra accuracy. Ooh. For long periods of Umbral make your presence increasingly known to inhabitants. That's not good. The longer you spend in Umbral, the more dangerous the beings who will hunt you. What? Get out of here! So the first Lords of the Fallen, the original game, was a was a very good benchmark for visuals as well. Not the greatest of gameplay, but it was definitely a looker in CryEngine. So this is marked places where previous lamp hearers fell. Once activated, these serve as a point of revival. Yep, there we go. There's our there's our uh, bonfire. So we should be able to upgrade. Oh, this has multiplayer as well. Does it have co-op? Accompany somebody or slaughter somebody. I did not realize this had co-op in it. Okay. Uh, okay. We got a we got a boss. Please don't be like the Wolong boss. Oh, 
Oh, fuck me! Oh, we got him. I panicked too much over nothing. Easy. Hold up. I may have spoke too soon. Oh, it's smiley. Give me that lamp. Nah, you're good. Oh. Yeah, mistakes were made. I forgot to rest. I didn't rest at the bonfire, so I didn't get my health back. Ah! Though I wasn't doing any damage to him. I tried to die to respawn, but I think this is actually how the game goes. Okay, I'm rested now. I, that was intentional because I forgot to rest. I know what I'm doing. I'm a Souls veteran. Oh, what? Uh, Vigor recovery. I'm still in the tutorial, see? Psh, easy. Gun, uh, what? Got to use the torch. This uh, torch is awesome. See? Look at all those eyes, man. Seeing the other world, man. No, and I'm not a fan of the other world knowing that shit comes and chases you. That's kind of freaky. Oh, no, there's a secret door thing, look. Oh, mm, I wonder. God, oh, fuck's sake. I'm being washed by the eyes. I need to get out of here. A little bit of a tickler DLSS. Temps come down slightly. But that's still in the happy areas. And uh, not a single star yet. So that's, that's a good sign. It's that uh, the presidents, look. Trump and Biden. On that cliff. What's it called? That cliff where those presidents are carved into it? Do I have to go into the umbral realm? Because it scares me that I, the fact that the longer I'm in there, something hunts me. Uh, really puts me off. But we are a barbarian wolfman, so don't be scared. There is no... Whoa! Oh, is he friendly? <laughs> oh my fucking god. Jesus Christ. I always wondered if there were others. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck me. Sideways, man. Yeah. Okay. I'm wondering if I could summon somebody to help me. I'm, an, I'm a noob.
<gasps> Son of a gun! <laughs> oh! Why me? Fucking finish him, man, because I'm fucking done. I'm fucking done, boy! Oh! <laughs> it had to be the laser thing, man. Fucking God. I had to stay back. <laughs> I, got, I was getting well into it there. But I had to get back. If I died, it was game over. So I had a smidgen of health. Uh, it's definitely not as good as Elden Ring. Definitely. Uh, but it's not a bad Souls-like game. Lords of the Fallen. It's definitely better than the first Lords of the Fallen. Stop smoking. Oh, fuck me. What's that? Did they just grab me? Did they just grab me from the real world into the fucking shadow realm? Maybe I'm just too early in the game yet. Because I, I only got to just past the first boss. So maybe it opens up a lot. But it's a, it's an amazing looking game. And I can't fault anything else with the controls, wise and attacks. I think I like this one more than Wulong. That was extremely hard. This one seems to be a bit more on the Elden Ring difficulty side. Which don't get me wrong, some of the bosses in that were, were hard. This one's a little bit more forgiving. Yeah, definitely, definitely a recommended game so far for me. Um, I definitely will play some more and see where it goes. But for now, that is Lords of the Fallen, the new one. They have been hot with the updates uh, pretty much every day, like I said. Uh, an update a day, something like that, fixing it all. So it's uh, not. I've not had a single hiccup with performance, not a single star. I know that's not saying much for my system specs, but it's it's been okay for me. Um, so I did see some people with like 40 series cards complained so it's definitely worth mentioning um but the new update if, you, if you've not tried and you've got similar spec to me or even better probably worth giving another try again now these updates come out